This is the Write That Down podcast. You've got a you got a nice pen there. Uh, yeah, I I got the same pen, four color pen. It's big. I've 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 jumped around with pens over the years. Mm. And I reckon the big fat Bic is the one to go with. Big fat Bic. Of course, your blue and your black go on first. Yeah. And you're left with the green <laughs> and the red. <laughs> and then I just chuck it out. I <laughs> use them maybe twice of the pen life. I uh, use the green more than I use the red. Really? Because... Um, Talk to me. Well, it goes back to it goes back to school, you know? Right. And uh, you'd, you'd do an assignment and you'd hand it in. It'd come back red pen all over it True. your mistakes you know missed commas punctuation spelling mm. so red is kind of associated with mistakes okay whereas for me i use the green to highlight things that can be improved on okay there you go <laughs> so that's what like when i was studying in like uh, year 12 and and for uni yeah green was like this is, and I do this in comedy still. Sometimes right. I'll highlight things in green, like this is this is something this I want to work stuff. on. Yeah. Ah, that's a uh, cool. And yellow means like this is gold. Right. This is the punchline. There you go. That's quite interesting because uh, I've read somewhere. Oh, this guy came out and did one of those talks when I was about year ten, mm. doing the whole study tips and skills, and he was talking about how red is like uh, quite memorable for mm. us it's like it, it's quite striking to our brain or something right um and that if you write things in red you're most likely to remember them it gave a percentage i can't think of it right now i probably didn't write it down in red but 